this glass, I have something which some call it liquid gold. It's more valuable than oil, diamonds or even money for that matter. And it's also said to be the petroleum of the 21st century. Do you know what it is? Water. But it's just water, right? But if you're wondering why is it called liquid gold, then in the next few minutes, I'm going to tell you why. So do watch the entire video, share it and hold your comments till the end because there is something that we all don't know. We humans are made of water and everything around us depends on water on a daily basis. Without water, we die in a matter of few days and there is no substitute for it. And people think that we have a lot of water. You can turn on the tap and water is there. But that's a major problem. You see, 97% of the entire Earth's water is salt water and fresh water makes up to the remaining 3% of which 2% is frozen or it's in the form of ice and the remaining 1% is made up of liquid fresh water. But from that 1%, the majority of fresh water is underground, which is more difficult and expensive to access. So the water we use is surface water, which is in the form of rivers and lakes. And that's less than 1% of fresh water on the planet. So the question is, how much water do we really use? We humans drink almost 3 to 4 liters of water a day, from brushing to freshen up around 2.5 to 7 liters of water, and then come various uses of water. And the most water we use is here. So on an average, we use around 300 to 370 liters of water per person per day. But that accounts to only 8% of the fresh water used by humans. So where does the rest of it go? Well, here's the surprising part. 70% of the water goes into agriculture and animal agriculture and the rest into industries to create products. Let's take beer for example. This glass might not be what it looks like. The truth is that 74 liters of water goes into making a single glass of beer. How? That's through ingredients used in it and the process of making it. A cup of tea takes around 107 liters of water, a glass of milk more than 1000 liters of water, a cotton shirt takes around 2500 liters of water, and your early morning breakfast, well that takes around more than 3000 liters of water. But there is nothing like meat. The average cow consumes 10 to 12 kilograms of food per day, consumes approximately 150 liters of water per day, while alfalfa, a hay crop, uses approximately 520 liters. And if you add all that up, a classic burger uses about 1650 liters of water to make. And we are pretty much eating like the West. So almost half of the fresh water in the world is not used by humans directly. And the reason why these foods are cheap is because farmers hardly pay anything for water so you don't feel the hit and that's why companies are able to give you such good deals apart from that we are growing water dense crops in regions where water is not easily available and depleting the use of underground water which take a millennia to fill back and many parts of northern india have already shown signs of underground water depletion but that's not all around 40 percent of the water goes down the drain due to leaks in the water network and that's why many places face water shortages because of leaky pipes the sad part is that we value water so little that 70% of industrial and animal waste is dumped into fresh and usable water. But if this continues by 2040 or later, cities like London, Tokyo, Bangalore, Jakarta and many more will face their day zero. It's a day where there won't be a single drop of fresh water left in the city. And this is why it's called liquid gold because many companies are now aware of what its value is going to be in the future. And water might become another commodity with a price value that a common man might not be able to bear. And that's why mega banks and private companies are buying water. But if you want to do your part to save water, we really have to slow down our consumption. Cut down your meat and milk, shop more sustainable clothes or when needed, report places where you notice a leakage and take shorter baths because there will be enough of water for us and the future generations if we use it wisely. And we do have water in many parts of the world, so we don't really bother as much. But the day we run out of water, we will understand what the value of this liquid gold truly is. Till then, save water and be awesome. Russia that.